Hey guys, uh, I got something new to show you today and uh, you know, play a little bit with it. So those are Wi-Fi dev kits called Photon. They are from a company called Particle, which I backed up on a Kickstarter quite a bit um, a long time ago, probably about a year or so. Uh, maybe a little bit less, don't remember for sure. Uh, and I have those for like probably two months. We we're just sitting on my desk, um, you know, didn't pay any attention to them. And here I decided to make a little video about them. So those are Wi Fi dev kits. Um, they are, you know, designed to be easily prototyped uh, and connect um, to cloud. So essentially, it's cloud connected hardware development kit. So yeah, company provides uh, applications and some online facilities in order to, uh, you know, connect these things, um, upload some uh, upload programs uh, online, like through website, for example. Yeah, after you connect it, also you can connect this to your phone uh, and uh, you know control this uh, little devices from your phone. So you can try to do something like that today as well. In that in this video all right so let's unbox one of those so they come in this little teeny tiny packaging well then my my uh, version um, I, I bought has no headers and actually it cost $19 which I think pretty good for what it is so yeah here's the board neatly packaged in, uh, into like insulated from both sides, I assume, this foam. There is. Oh, yeah, look at this. There is some and more foam. There is a little sticker comes with it as well. A little sticker. Cute little sticker. And there is some kind of instruction here. Yeah, yeah. Spark board. Our boards are pro. Spark. Yeah, by the way, um, the company before it was called Spark. Actually, and I backed uh, some other product uh, from them uh, called Spark Core, which is a little bit older version of these, uh, made of different component components. Uh, I think it was different uh, core, different CPU, and uh, but I mean different um, uh, manufacturer of all this stuff. So this is probably a bit more optimized. So yeah, and uh, oh, by the way, we will have to. I will have to see what's the difference between those. Uh, I know there are difference. <laughs> There's a joke here or something. A photon checks a, fo a fo photon checks into a hotel. The bellhop asks, "Can I help you with your luggage?" It replies, "I don't have any. I'm traveling light." <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Pretty cool. I really like how they package the product. Looks pretty, pretty nice. Let's put it all back in. We don't need that. Leave it for later. Okay, so what we need? Just add some power. So this connected to my laptop and probably gonna bing now when I connect this. Oh. Oh, like. boop, boop, boop. Okay, what's going on? Doesn't matter. We're not gonna use any um, uh, laptop for anything like that. We're gonna use Android. So we're gonna use my phone in order to connect. In order to connect this thing. So I already uploaded, downloaded uh, software. For uh, for that called particle, and I already have several devices uh, connected here. So actually, one of two cores. That's two older devices. I'm actually gonna, sorry, I'm actually gonna um, review them as well. Uh, maybe side by side with this guy. Yeah, I'll do another video when I review other older cores with this uh, photon things. So uh, actually, one of those I already connected. I don't actually don't remember if this one or that one, but I assume this one because none of those are online. So let's just connect. Should be pretty simple. Set you you can set up core and set up photon here. So let's set up photon. Time please power. 
Okay, it's blinking blue. That's good. Well, it's connected to internet. Top ready. I'm tapping ready. Okay, this is some kind of weird name which is automatically given. This photon dash GVTU. So we're gonna click on here, and it's connecting. And this is obviously pretty easy. And I, I pick up one of my Wi-Fi network called Web. And it's asking about password, which I'm gonna enter off camera. And it's connecting. It's blinking green. As far as I uh, know, that means it's connecting. All right, it's done. So now something happening on the photon. Blinking green. Now some kind of bluish color. Cyan, I guess. Purple. Yeah, it, um, those lights are uh, quite indication. Hobo Penguin. So <laughs> this device looks like it's going to be named Hobo Penguin. Very nice. It's like it gives these funny default names for. Uh, actually, it was uh, given to all of these uh, devices like that. I'm just curious why it's still offline. And not sure what this purple blinking means. Green, purple, cyan. It's like all rainbow colors here. It's like some crazy stuff going on. Okay, my friend, are you going to be online or not? Let me click on this one. Device offline. Am I gonna exit this stuff? Start it again. All right. Okay. Well, it was just a glitch, I guess, in software. So now take a look at this. So what we can do when we click on this device, we can see all pins like that. Sorry, sorry. I was right first time. Like this. So to re like from this. Uh, uh, utility, we can actually completely control any of those uh, uh, outputs or IOS uh, just right from here. So this is, I'm not sure, like, this is not really useful, it's mostly for testing and for playing around, uh, you know, because I'll, I'll show another uh, video how can you upload stuff into this from, from your um, computer. Uh, you can do it two ways, you can actually upload from your computer uh, like uh, running some special software from from particle or you can actually uh, use their online uh, facilities in order to actually uh, connect this device well it's already connected uh, uh, and uh, select it and actually upload uh, any kind of program through it uh, from the from the cloud essentially so and this is like true example of internet of things application and uh, it, well this is you can upload and also you can collect that data that way right so let's play with it so I'm, I don't remember which pin is actually corresponds to LED I, I assume this D7 right so let's here's um, let me point it with something more smaller than my finger so here is LED here is D7 right okay I'll try to make it closer Alright, so here is LED, here is D7. Let's try to set it up. I can take this. D7, digital right. 
All right, didn't work. Oh, okay, hi. Okay, so first thing, I have to say what my operation and then I can set it into a uh, into specific value. So this is the simplest way you can actually see that you, um, you can control this device, those outputs, an analog and digital from your phone. And uh, theoretically, you can upload any program from the cloud. So, uh, unfortunately, at the moment, you cannot do more than that because nothing actually connected. So, um, I would definitely create a little bit better example um, uh, after I after I solder um, mm, headers to this thing, and I would be able to play with it on the breadboard. But as of right now, that's the the least the minimum stuff we can do. So. Had a little bit of technical difficulty, uh, battery in the camera died. So I just swapped out for new battery and um, yeah, I can continue this video. Well, not much to say here. Uh, so, so we did a little bit unboxing and first impression and we connected this thing and uh, we, we were able to actually play with it a little bit. So as you see, I can easily control LED right now, make it blink. But uh, it's kind of, I would really like to have ability to actually upload anything from my phone. So create a little, little kind of program and, um, and push it uh, from the phone. Yeah. And you, you can probably can do it from, from the browser on the phone, but this f uh, particle program doesn't let you do anything more than just play with the, um, with iOS here. Yeah, I can rename my device, by the way, over here. So it's totally possible. By the way, in order to, those are those devices are associated with your account. So when you um, when you purchasing devices from them, you using kind of their infrastructure, uh, cloud infrastructure. Uh, so. In order to actually claim your device, you have to log in and this device claim your device, and this device will be associated with your particular account. And when you go online, you will be able to control them and uh, obviously upload different programs um, for, from your specific dashboard or control panel uh, online. And everything, uh, and this is everything, and so this done through uh, Particle uh, website. So, yep. So if you want to get one like this, go to Particle website and you can just order one for $19 and play with it. Uh, pretty th th this thing can, can uh, we can do pretty cool things with it. I'm just curious what's the power consumption. Again, uh, as I really try to test, for example, uh, if you see my other video related to uh, Texas Instrument Sensor Tech 2 power consumption, I would really like to know what would be power consumption of this device, uh, which probably much higher than of uh, uh, sensor tech 2 I, I believe but uh, yeah I cannot cannot tell for sure and I cannot actually see this information anywhere um, yeah I'll try to measure that just for because um, I like to know how long this thing can work standalone actually it's pretty warm here so um, interesting why So, which really means that it can actually consume a little bit of uh, higher current. Um, yeah, but I really like design of this um, of this board. It's neatly done. at it black with cyan um, kind of images on it. Looks really nice. Um, matte black looks really really nice. I, I I really love it, and it's very well very well done. So let me make a some close up for you guys. So yeah, here's close up. Um, here's like a coin cell battery for comparison. So it's really small. Essentially, it's like two coin cell battery size side by side, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very nice, very nice. I, I like this thing. So I have a few ideas. How what can I do about what can I do with it? And uh, let's see what's in the back. Like essentially, there is nothing on the back. Just nicely uh, painted uh, PCB, and look pretty good. 
and I like that there is not many components here I know there is only one chip well it's not cheap it's PCB it probably has several chips inside or at least two from what I can can see here yeah really nice so well thank you for watching and if you like this video please like and if you like my channel please subscribe thank you bye